guys today I'm gonna to be doing three random photography ideas that you can do at home I'm gonna take you along show you the shots the edits so yeah let's go Okay, so it's time to clean everything off. Okay guys, so I don't know what happened, but the GoPro did not save the recording. So basically I've set up this cooking sheet thing right here because it has a cool texture. Um, and we're doing product photography with this lens. And when I thought of this lens, I thought it was old it's tactile and it was just you really feel it it's kind of rustic sort of so that's the look i'm going for so i have this old film camera because this is a lens that was originally intended for a film camera and i thought that'd be cool just because it's old and tactile then i have this candle stand thing and it has a cool metal look to it and to keep it from rolling i put this ring put it on there found a roll of film so I'm gonna just leave that right here and my Swiss Army knife put that there and these cool coasters I'm gonna leave there found some nails set those there this is an adapter to use this lens on my camera so I'm gonna put that right there and then the reason I have this right here is because it fits perfectly and it makes this sort of, hopefully at least, it'll make this stand out against everything here. Because if it was flat, it just wouldn't look nearly as cool. But now it'll sort of be elevated. Um, when I take the picture, you won't be able to tell that it's on a stand. <laughs> Just like that. So if you guys are wondering what camera I use, this is a uh, Canon T6i. So a pretty old camera. It works pretty well though. With a Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8 lens that I got pretty recently. Um, I'm gonna do a review on it. You may have already seen it or I'll post it after. We'll see. Probably coming soon. Um, okay. Let's start. So, oh, it's so hard to hold it. Ow. It's hard to hold the camera with my wrist. Okay, it's a bit underexposed, it looks like. Um, maybe, yeah, yeah I'm gonna get the... There we go, add some light to it. Now we have plenty of light. Yeah, these are actually turning out pretty good, better than I thought. I'm trying to get some different angles too. Maybe I'll try turning this sideways. I don't know how all this will work, but. So, what we're going to be doing is, I just crushed chalk up to make this powder. And you might have seen on like, I don't know, TikTok or something, of them like, clapping chalk. And it just makes a big cloud of chalk powder and it looks pretty cool. Um, I know this is sort of a cliche TikTok video 
thing you would see. But I'm still gonna do it because it's an idea and sometimes you just gotta do the idea. You just have to execute on the idea. Even if it's not the best idea, at least you're doing something. That's what matters. Okay, so I'm gonna have the camera on the ground and I just realized I didn't really explain fully what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put the powder on the ground and then I'm gonna use my shoe and just kinda do that and kick it a little bit and maybe it'll poof out and make the explosion instead of it being in my hand. So we'll see how it turns out. It's a little bit of a cliche type of thing, but it'll probably look cool. Okay, it's gonna be very underexposed. Um, not much I can do about that. I'm just gonna try it a few times. Looks like it'll work fine. So, put some powder. Or I don't just realize it's gonna make a mess. Oh, I kept it so you get, oh shoot, then they can look up. Oh, that turned out. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. No explosion at all. Okay, I'm gonna really stomp this time. Maybe the that way up here. Ooh. That could have been sick. Just take it anyway. Doing a wider angle also. Oh, I just kicked chalk all over my lens. Oh, this is a mess. Look at that. Look at that. Got it all over the, okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Okay, see ya. Okay guys, so it's a new day again. This time, I actually had to get a whole cast for this. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna have the camera here um, for this photography idea. I have this little book thing. I'm gonna have it set up on here. I'm gonna take a high shutter speed photo of me dropping this orange into the cup. It'll be a splash. Hopefully, it look sick. So, we have a really high shutter speed. I'm gonna have this lens zoomed in a lot because I don't want it to get splashed. I'm gonna have this pretty far back. Hopefully this turns out because there's not a lot of light. I sort of did it on this walkway here so that there could be more like like leading lines in the shot because there's not much interesting just like out by my house so we'll see how it turns out okay so the screen out we'll do one 320th of a second and then I'm gonna have it set at yeah self timer continuous it's gonna take five shots after 10 seconds Oh wow, oh I need a higher shutter speed, definitely. I timed it perfectly though. That one was, I think that one was really good. All right, so those were the three photo ideas. Now let's look at the photos I took and the edits and what I thought about them. So these were the first photos I took. <laughs> first one in Photoshop, I added some gradients in the top right corner and the bottom left corner, and I made them sort of contrasted colors, and I thought it made a cool effect. 
For the rest of them, I didn't do that, but I used split toning to make the shadows more of a teal color and the highlights more orange to give it a contrast. And I actually thought these photos turned out really well. I did think the photos sort of looked a little bit crowded and it looked like when I set up all the products, maybe I used too many because I feel like a lot of them, they, they just look like there's too much stuff in them. But other than that, I think they actually turned out pretty good. Now for the second photo idea with the chalk. Yeah, not so much. Those really did not turn out good. There's just not nearly enough light. There's a ton of noise. It was too dark. And I kind of just had to stop doing it because none of the photos were just... None of them were turning out good. So why did I still show those photos instead of just doing a different idea? Well, I just wanted to show that in photography, you're not always going to get good photos. Sometimes they look like crap. And that's what happens. So that's why I didn't just do something else and I'm including those. Now here is the third and final set of photos I took. I thought these photos turned out really well and the splash of water from the orange just looks so good. And I also got the orange really in focus which I was actually pretty surprised by. As you can see there's two different edits I did on the photo. The first one was just sort of a simple color correction and the second one I made the background completely black and white, everything black and white in the photo except for the orange. And I didn't really know which one would look good. I think I really like the black and white one. It makes the orange pop and I just think that one looks pretty good. But what do you guys think in the comments? How do you think these photos turned out? I want your honest feedback. So if you enjoyed this video, give the like button a nice gentle tap. No need to smash it at all. No need. And if you didn't like this video, you already know. Give it a fat, 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 fatty, fat, fat dislike. And leave a comment of why you didn't like it. Because I always want to improve. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one.